How to cut prescription drug costs. Has your doctor reduced his fees? Nope. And drug costs are not going down either. Here at the Saturday Morning Diet, we wanted to share with you what we have learned about how to cut prescription drug costs. You know, those of us suffering from obesity are on high blood pressure medicine, diabetes medicine, cholesterol control medicine, the list goes on and on. And we wanted to help you find ways to reduce those expenses. Are you struggling with soaring costs of prescription drugs? CBS Money Watch recently reported the drug prices are predicted to soar nearly 50% over the next few years. We want to help you find ways to contain these costs so they don't interfere with your long-term medical costs. I'm also including three tips on how to cut your prescription drug costs. Three ways to cut prescription costs. Look to generic alternatives. Even a prescription that you are taking doesn't have a generic, you may be able to switch to a therapeutic alternative that does not have a lower cost generic available. Explore the alternatives with your physician. Your pharmacist may also be able to recommend an alternative medication that could save you money, and the pharmacist may be able to facilitate the change on your behalf by contacting your physician for you. As always, you can go to johnbars.com to get more information. Ask your doctor if a medication is still necessary. You know, some of us, when we lose the weight, we no longer have to take a diabetic medicine or metformin. Often people continue to take medication because no one told them to stop. They have might change doctors a few times and the medication list just keeps growing. It may be time to ask your physician which medication is still necessary. As we get older, some medications that were appropriate in our 50s are no longer safe as we age into Medicare. As always, the cheapest medication is the one you were able to avoid by eating well and exercising regularly. Magic words. Eating well and exercising regularly. And you know, here on the Saturday Morning Diet, JoanBars.com, we've been advocating the low-carbohydrate diet to help you lose the weight and help you grow older and die old, young, at a very old age. Understand how your Medicare Prescription D drug plan works. Also, if you're not on Medicare, if you are disabled and on Medicare, or you have a prescription plan, this still applies to you. Get creative with your Part D plan search, your drug plan in your coverage. Did you know that not every medication is cheaper through mail order? Some might be, but some may actually cost more because of shipping costs associated with bulky or heavy packaging. A hybrid approach of getting more medications at your local pharmacy and others by mail order based on which outlet has the lowest out-of-pocket cost can really save you some cash. Make sure to look at your best plan options every year during open enrollment October 15 to December 7. Here's a chart about uh, what is the donut hole and what is covered and what is not covered. Take a minute to go over it. You have to search and look for the plans that give you the best deal. Be your own advocate. Communicate with your doctor and ask questions. Ask your pharmacist if they have coupon cards for drugs on hand. Research different assistance programs. Don't be embarrassed to tell your doctor you can't afford your medications. If you're in the senior age group, Learn about SHIP senior health insurance plans. If you're a low-income person, learn about state's extra help for income, low-income people and seniors. Insurance and samples. Request formulary medications only. Formulary is the list of drugs covered by your insurance. Ask your doctor about less expensive therapeutic alternatives. Ask your doctor for samples or coupons. Samples may not have directions on them. Be sure to check with your doctor about how to take them. Let pharmacy know to check for interactions. Another thing is when you go to the pharmacy and you have your uh, prescription card, if you have a generic, don't use your prescription card because it adds to your uh, formulary expense. If you just pay two or five dollars, pay cash and they will let you. Make sure to ask about that. Here's a side-by-side medical plan uh, co- uh, comparison. A, a plan A has a 325 deductible, while plan B has no deductible. 
Plan A has a $2,000 maximum out of pocket, while Plan B has a $3,000. So you see that you didn't pay a deductible, but your out of pocket is higher. For different tier drugs, you know, there's normally four tiers on drugs, generics being number one and brand high, high cost drugs being number four. Not preferred tier $54 copay, while a non preferred tier in Plan B is 43%. So look at the difference. $54, which is a fixed amount, versus a percentage. So Plan A, though you have a deductible up front, it costs you $973 for a month, uh, a monthly supply at $1,000 a month. While Plan B, it costs you $3,000 over the course of the year. We're offering two wonderful uh, e-course e packages, the Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss and the Kenogenic Diet. We've been very, very happy with the response that people have been purchasing these, and we want to share with you the opportunity that's still available. Go to SaturdayMorningDiet.com, Mindfulness for Weight Loss, or SaturdayMorningDiet.com, Genetic Diet eBook. It'll be in the description box. We're still offering our weight loss e-course packages at SaturdayDiet.com, bronze package, silver package, and gold package, three different price points to meet anybody's budget. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, spread the word about Joan Bars and the Saturday Morning Diet, and help us grow and get this information out to as many people as possible. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.